vocabulary practice. For the first word that we have, this is the verb for a boy must, which means to memorize. Another verb for lesson 17, which means, or you can read this in Japanese as wasuremasu. Wasuremas means forget. Nakushimas. This Japanese term used by Japanese means loss. Dashimas. This verb also came from lesson 16 so you'll definitely know it which means take up report wo dashimasu so dashimasu the kanji means to go out but this sentence which report which means report Hand in a report means report what dashimas. Haraimas. So as you can see for the kanji of haraimas, there's a person lending or giving money. So haraimas means to pay. Kaeshimas. So this is the verb used by the Japanese to say kae shimasu. Shimas is to do, so give back or return. Dekakemas. So another kanji same as dashimas but this time dekakimas means go out nugimas verb japanese term which means to take off clothes Mot so this kanji or if you only look for this first mochimas is the term so motte kimas means take something again mochimas or motte kimas so motte kimas means to bring something so you're coming and you're bringing something so bring something is motekimas shimpai shimas so shimpai is a noun and shimas is a verb so if you combine that to shimpai shimas means Worry. Sangyoshimas. So again, if you have shimas, this noun sangyo will become verb. So sangyo means work a bird. Shuchoshimas. So another verb because they have shimos which means to do and shucho is a noun so for this it means go on a trip or business trip kusuri wo nomimas kusuri means medicine nomimas means to drink so this Combine or this sentence means 
take medicine. O furu ni hairimas. O furu means but hairimas means to enter. So if you use this, this means take a bath. Tai setsu. So tai or the kanji means big. So tai setsu means important or precious thing. Dai jobu. So dai jobu. Maybe you usually hear this when you are watching anime or anything Japanese, which means all right. Abunai. Eh, abunai na. So abunai, or you will see signs having this first kanji, which means dangerous. Monday. So this is a Japanese term used to say or in English it's question problem or trouble. Kotai. So if you have Monday you have Kotai. Kotai means answer kin and this is sign used to say that this place is kin and which means you must not or no smoking area can go Hoken sho. Kenko means health. Kenko hoken sho means health insurance card. Kaze. So this time a pandemic. Kaze is also common. Kaze means called Netsu so another symptoms of COVID so Japanese term use to say that you have fever is Netsu Netsu means fever Byoki ne ano ipahito ay ma biokini nari masita so there are so many people who became sick so bioki means illness or disease kusuri as I mentioned before or from the previous sentence which means kusuri wo nomimas kusuri means medicine ofuro so again i already mentioned this in a sentence which means ofuro ni hairimas so ofuro means but uwagi so as you can see for the kanji uwa or up uwagi so outside so uwagi means outerwear or jacket shitagi so the kanji is shita or down and shitagi means underwear Sensei. 
So sensei is not only used to call for a teacher, but this is also used to doctors. Madeni. So this is used in a sentence to say or before by indicating time limit. So goji madeni deskara. So maybe you already knew dakara which means because but if you use deskara it means therefore or so. Doshimashita ka? So ka, if you have that in Japanese, it means you're asking. So doshimashita ka is usually used to ask what's the matter for the sick people. Ga itai des. So itai in Japanese means pain. So nani nani or what nga itai des. So have pain in my nodo. So this is part of the body in where usually we have pain. If we have kaze or any symptoms of influenza. So no means throat. Thank you for watching. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. So you will be updated every time I will be uploading videos like this. Mite koreta, arigatou gozaimasu. Bye bye.